Hey, what's up, everybody? I recently made a video called Why Mainstage is Great for Digital Wind Instruments. And now in this video, I want to tell you why Ableton Live is great for digital wind instruments. I want to show you a fun Ableton wind controller sound design trick. But first, I think that we should do a quick comparison of Mainstage and Ableton. These two softwares are similar in that there is a focus on live performance and MIDI controller integration that's not nearly as prevalent in other music softwares. Either software can be used to create a robust, flexible, and a relatively manageable system for using MIDI to control virtual synthesizers, MIDI effects, and audio effects, but they also have some crucial differences. While Mainstage is a Mac-only software, Ableton can be used on both Mac and Windows machines. Mainstage isn't really designed to do anything other than facilitate live performances, while Ableton Live is also extremely capable of multi-track recording, mixing, and editing. This is what drew me to Ableton after spending many years with Mainstage. In Ableton, not only could I create a system for controlling my software in a live setting using several MIDI controllers at once, including my EWI, my Wii Remote for motion controls, and my LPD-8, but I could also record and eventually edit these performances if needed. There's also the matter of price. Mainstage is pretty cheap as music software goes. At $39.99 Canadian, it's almost one third the price of Ableton Intro. Side note, and I'm only bringing this up because of the increasing number of digital wind instruments available that include motion controls, but in my experience, the only version of Ableton that's well equipped to handle motion controls is Ableton Live Suite. It's the only version that includes Max for Live functionality, which is super useful for handling the weird MIDI signals that come with gestural control. Main stage on the other hand, is really good with motion controls. But this video is not about Mainstage, it's about Ableton. And now that we have the comparison out of the way, it's time for me to show you that fun and useful sound design trick that I mentioned earlier. So Ableton, like most music software, comes with a bunch of virtual synthesizers, which you can find in the Instruments category in the side menu. These virtual synthesizers come with a bunch of presets that are categorized in a bunch of different ways. Today, I'll be focusing on the lead presets, as I find that these are the most compatible with digital wind instruments. By the way, some of these virtual synthesizers work a little better with digital wind instruments than others. Collision, drum synth, impulse, and tension are all geared toward creating more percussive sounds. While it's totally possible to emulate percussion instruments on a digital wind instrument, it's not really what they were designed for. For what I'll be showing you in this video, I recommend analog, bass, operator, poly, sampler, and wavetable. So if we go over here to the sidebar, open up instruments, go to wavetable, and then open up synth lead, we have a bunch of options. So now we can click through and find the sound that we like. I recommend using one that's pretty much the same from the beginning to the end. This one's pretty good. This one's pretty good too. This one's pretty good too. That one's not as good because uh, there's already a lot going on. So let's just pick this one. Now that we've found a sound that we like, the next step is to find a way to control this sound with our breath. The best way to do this is with a filter. So let's go over here to audio effects, click on EQ and filters, and let's load up EQ8. Auto filter is another option, but I find that this one is a little bit sluggish to react to MIDI control. So EQ8 is what we're gonna go with. So now that we have EQ8 loaded up, the first thing we need to do is just uncheck these little blue boxes and then over here above box number one we need to pick a shape that looks like this so now we have what's called a low pass filter meaning that only low frequencies are going to get through however if we take control of this dial and turn it up a little bit we're letting higher and higher frequencies through resulting in a brighter sound this is of course what we're going to want to control with our breath control so what we got to do is click on that hit command M, grab our MIDI controller, and then just blow into the mouthpiece. You should see a pair of numbers appear on the top right corner of this dial, and then some information should be filled out over here. Make sure that it says something like CC number two, or maybe CC 11, and not something like pitch bend. If you find that you've accidentally mapped pitch bend to it or something like that, just delete it and start over. So if that's all good, hit command M again. And now EQ8 should react to our breath control. So that's the basics. 
Um, and the really cool part of this is that now that our breath controlled EQ is set up, we can just delete this and replace it with any other sound that we want to try out. So we'll go over to synth lead. That's a cool sound. Try that. So there's so many cool sounds in Ableton Live to check out. A good way to find them is actually to go to Sounds and then go to Synth Lead and this will show you all of the Synth Lead presets that belong to all of Ableton's different instruments. So this one that I just loaded up belongs to Sampler. So that's pretty much the basics. The next step I think would be optimizing the sound for our instrument. In most cases, I find that the thing that I need to adjust to be happy with the sound is glide, sometimes referred to as portamento. When glide is enabled, it affects the amount of time that it takes the synth to slide from one note to the next. I find that having a little bit of glide is great for disguising any imperfections in my playing technique. Going through each of Ableton's virtual synthesizers and showing you how to adjust the glide rate is a little bit out of scope for this video. If you're interested in doing this, I would suggest just taking a look at the live instrument reference section of the Ableton Live Manual. I'll save you a little bit of time though by telling you two things. One, Glide only works when the synthesizer is in mono or legato mode. Two, only these four virtual synthesizers have Glide parameters that work well with digital wind instruments, in my opinion. That's all for this video. I hope you found it to be helpful and interesting, and that you now know how to use the stock Ableton presets with the breath control capabilities of your digital wind instrument. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.